Well, hello, and welcome back. Uh, we're going to do a small video on how to open maps in the editor. All right, as you see here on the desktop, we have the editor right here. Uh, that would be the Giants editor. Um, and then we have a map already out here. You'd find this in your mods folder or in your download folder, depending on where you download it to from whatever site you get it from. I went ahead and just put it here on my desktop for this video. What we're going to do here is we're going to make a folder right here on the main screen. New folder. All right. uh, what we're going to do here is we'll hit rename on this, copy it, bring it over here, hit rename again, and we'll paste it here. That way I know that's what's in this folder. We'll put this folder, this zip folder, and into this folder we just made and then we're going to double click on that we're going to click on the folder for which we just put in there and we're going to right click and go to extract all now you may have to use WinRAR to extract it I don't have to as you see here it's already built into the software extract all and then hit extract now I'm extracting it to the same folder for which we put it into but it's going to ask you where to put it right here and you can put it wherever you want <coughs> right. <coughs> sorry about that and then we're going to double click on this non-zip folder go up here where it says maps double click on it now you're going to have two of these yellow uh, icons right here the G icon actually you're going to use the one that says map you double click on it now this is only here because I have two types of editor I have one for the 19 and one for FS22 so but FS22 you want 9.0.3 make sure that's highlighted hit OK it'll take just a second there you go that's going to take a second to load it and we're already loaded so that's how you open it now if you want to do any kind of edits hang on a minute let me get my bearings okay that's that field so right here is this will be the main yard now say you don't want these three uh, what do they call these poplar trees say you don't want them there now to move around real quick to touch base on how I'm moving everything the mouse is your friend it's gonna be your best friend you know that's not only does it click on everything but if you hold alt and then left click and hold you turn the camera right click push forward or back and you go in and out with the camera so that's how I'm moving now you can use uh, what, what is it um, let me see here let me remember how to do this I don't do it that way supposedly you can use buttons on the keyboard to move it as well I'm bad about it because I don't remember how that is um, yeah we don't want that let's replace yeah I I know it can be done I just don't remember how but anyway just take your cursor find a spot on the tree itself now I wouldn't recommend doing it on the leaves because clicking on the leaves it can open a subfolder instead of the main folder and you want to click on pretty substantial part of the building tree whatever you're clicking on and you're going to see it opens it highlights it green but over here it also opens up a folder and as you see there's a, a plus symbol next to where it says poplar stage three that is what i mean by subfolders this is a subfolder of this folder here and nine times out of ten if you click it wrong it'll open up one of these folders you delete it it'll leave the rest of it so you want to make sure that this is the one that's highlighted 
when this is poplar or whatever the mod or mod whatever the item is named you want to make sure it's the main folder all these little drop down folders you want to make sure they're that you get the top one to it now you don't want to go from this one up to here you'll, you'll end up doing all of them you just want to do the one that you're on and then you can hit delete it's as easy as that and you can do it as many as you want now to save that progress come up here to where it says save by 3d file click it wait for it to come up down here at the bottom of the screen down here and it'll have the directory and it'll say saved in ms at and then date and time make sure that comes up otherwise your work is not saved then you can go ahead and close it out and you go back out to where you put the folders right click on it hit rename and then copy the name in that folder in, in that little area hit copy and go back in highlight all of it right click go to send to and then go down to compress zip folder it shouldn't take but a few I'd say anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe a minute at most ah, my finger just popped sorry about that in this case it's saying it's going to take about five seconds but really it's more like seven or eight but anyway you're going to right click in where it's up where it's blue and then hit paste and then just click over here in the black area somewhere or the empty area of the folder <laughs> then drag that into your mods folder which is right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it over and drop it into my mods folder. That's my shortcut to my mods folder. Now yours will be in a different area and more than likely you'll have to find yours. And to find the actual mods folder for the game, go to your my computer or there, whatever it may be named. It may even be under your name. Then go up to uh, documents, my games. Farming Simulator 22, and then where it says mods, and here's your mods. All your mods to your game that you added. That's where you put them in at. That's where you take them out at. That's where you send them to if you want to download them. Then, yes, I'm offline at the moment, so therefore that's why that screen comes up. As you see, I have a different version over here, but we'll do a new one just for show. Uh, oh, right there. We continue. Lead all. Deselect all, I should say. Put that one on just for the testing purposes. Okay, and now those trees are gone. First thing I don't like those trees being there. First thing I always do when I when I open this map is, well, when I have a chance, is I take the the, the mod from Black Sheep Modding and I just mow over them and get rid of them all together. Well, that's how you get rid of them in the editor. That's, and you can do that with a building. That you, uh, obviously a building that's a permanent building, a structure that's actually part of the map, and not just a removable one like these are. Because technically, you can remove these just for the uh, shop. But something like this, if you didn't want this here, and you didn't want all these power lines going across to you like that, 
You could remove all of them through the uh, editor. As you see, you know, it's not hard to open them up. <clears throat> it can be. Now, sometimes, now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Sometimes there is times where... Why? I'm confused. You have power lines going across the back there. That loop back around over to there. But then you have power lines go from here straight over to there. Why? Do you have these ones then? See, stuff like that. These, these ones right here aren't needed. And that's actually from the base game. Because you know, this was a base game uh, map. But anyway, uh, so hopefully this video has helped somebody. If it has, go ahead and hit that like button for me you know, if you like it. Uh, but if it has helped you, please let me know down in the comment section. I appreciate it. <clears throat> if you're new and you like to see more of these videos, and I will try and do more of them as we go, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me to grow. helps to get the content out there for other people to see as well. And I do appreciate it. In the meantime, y'all stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later, y'all.